Hello to everyone in the world. Today I'm gonna show you the street lamp. Now, this street light used to be high precisorium, but I retrofit it with mercury paper. Oh yeah. So what I did is change the ballast inside here. This is the old ballast made by Philips and the capacitor. This is the bolt that used to work in my street lamp. So this is a power sticker that made my by myself because the street lamp actually is for 400 watts. But I only use 250. This is a power cord. This is the it's going to be the first time I'm going to um prove the the lamp to test it. So I don't know if it works great. I hope so. As you can see the old ballast kinda ugly. So I opened the street lamp up and here you can see the new ballast and the new capacitor for mercury paper. This ballast used to work in, in that light, but now that light is hyper sodium. My hand is shaking. I so, this is the ballast. Let's close this and prove it for the first time. This is a sticker. So, let's plug it in. Nice. Really nice. Check out that color is awesome and in the street lamp is is incredible. Now you must know that this bulb is coated. It's a coated mercury paper bulb. So the phosphor um that red color of the first time of the light. As you can see the ballast, sorry, as you can see the ballast is really quiet. It's, it isn't making a lot of noise here at all. But it's humming obviously. So let's let see the the trip warming up. Giving some good light, not as green as the old mercury vapor um, bulbs, and suddenly it warms up at full brightness. It warms up really fast. So it's it's giving some good light, really nice color temperature. I was wrong. At that time, it isn't at full brightness yet. Now, right, right now, it's at full brightness. The bulb. The color temperature is really nice. The color corrected mercury vapor bulbs give some good light. I don't know why mercury paper doesn't exist anymore. People are really crazy. Please don't tell me that they quit mercury paper just because it has mercury, because metal halite and hyperstereum and fluorescent bulb also has mercury inside and is still in, in sale. Wow, it's, it's really nice the the light right now. It's the like 
white light, like neutral color, it's not as daylight. You can see, it's really nice color reproduction. You can see all the colors in the real color with other light. If you use a clear mercury vapor, all my room will um, be green. That's that's curious. I don't know if I like it or not. Anyway, really nice fixture, really nice ballast. This fixture is one of my of my favorites and my first HID fixture that I have in my collection. So this was the the really first fixture that I have and the most awesome. You already seen the box is a Philips HPLM 250 watt bulb inside my fixture anyway the bulb is at full brightness really bright you this isn't the brightest bulb that I have, but this is really bright. Just perfect for my room. So, let's uh, turn off the light. And the count to three. One, Two, three. So you can see all the heat going off the bowl. Oh man, I can't see anything here. Here's light. Yeah. I didn't keep myself there. As you can see, really nice work of the bowl. The cables are messing out. There we go. Pretty nice work of this street lamp. I really like it, as you know. I like that shape. Like an egg or something, I don't know. It used to be 400 watts, but I retrofit it to hyperspheric sodium and then I retrofit it again with mercury vapor and works just like new and just awesome i'm going to repeat one more time all the i say at the first of the tip of the video inside you have a 250 watt coated mercury paper is the the edge the balls inside there used to work there and the, there is the old bulb that works in my street lamp and there is my is the old ballast so there's my Westinghouse and my iPod so thanks for watching um, I'm going to make more videos of this street lamp because I really like making videos of this of that lamp of that fixture of where you want to call it so thanks for watching again and we will see you next time